Um, there's orange clocks. No, I don't know if it's like, yeah, it's orange clocks, there's my glasses. Um, and Back to the Future is playing in the background. It's Back to the Future 2. So, and um, this video is going to be about um, some of my favorite DVDs that I have. I have quite a few, I think, like, maybe, maybe like over, I don't know, 100, 200, I don't know. These are my favorite DVDs, so, some of my favorite DVDs, um, I have lots of others, actually, maybe I'll put another video up showing all my DVDs, lots of others that I, that I, um, just haven't watched yet, I haven't watched yet, I haven't got to them, probably gonna get to them earlier, maybe later, maybe one tonight, I don't know, but, uh, I just thought I'd post this video, so, yeah, here we go, the first one, is that you don't get to 500 million friends without making a few enemies and en en enemies enemies. It's a social network. A social network. Yeah. Got the two disc. Two disc. Pretty awesome. Um, the reason I like a social network, and um, I know a lot of people, you know, they don't like it because you know they say it's like inaccurate or something. It's inaccurate because um, that's not how it is in real life or something like that. I liked it. I liked it. It's a David Fincher film. David Fincher film. Um, I like his work. Fight Club. Um, Memento. Spoiler. But um, I liked it because um, it, it, it like shows what the 21st century has become. You know, Facebook. Status updates. And it's such a good film. Uh, Jesse Eisenberg, not really my favorite, but, um, it was pretty good. I liked it. I, yeah, I'm gonna give, like, short reviews. All the way, um, another one. Just, yeah, let's see. Sean and the Dead. Sean and the Dead. Yeah, Sean and the Dead. Alright, this is an awesome one. Um, really good British comedy. Uh, I think it was, uh, Simon Pegg, Nick Frost. Geniuses. I just saw Paul. That was really great too. Um, and Hot Fuzz. I haven't seen Hot Fuzz yet. Yeah. Shot it. I haven't seen Hot Fuzz yet, but I have to see that one. And I just saw Paul. It was, it was okay. It was not really the best, but Sean did probably, probably their best. I'm not. I mean, I haven't seen Hot Fuzz yet, but probably the best, in my opinion. Um. And uh, he was okay in Star Trek. Anyways, the film, it's about uh, zombies, and it's comedy. And I guess it's a parody of Dawn of the Dead, but that's not really anything that's not set in the mall. But it's, it's really great. It's set in this pub. You know, a bunch of crap happens. It's really amazing. I mean, if you haven't seen it, you got to see it. And, um, yeah, I really liked it. It's good. Show of Dead. And, um, yeah, one of the few British comedies that, you know, I liked. Uh, I guess it is this one, District 9. District 9, I saw in The Drive-In, I think. Yeah, it might be The Drive-In. But I, I loved it. And, um, it's, um, yeah, oh yeah, cool fact was, um, I think they were gonna use the money for this one to make the Halo movie. I'm not sure. But, um... The Neil Blomkamp, he's a good director. Um, he directed this movie so solidly. Um, I like the whole idea of like a guy becoming an alien. You know, he's on the loose, everybody's looking for him. It was really great. Uh, so many good special effects. I mean, most of it's CGI. I mean, all of it's CGI, but the aliens are pretty cool. It's just, yeah, I need to watch this film again. I don't. I don't remember, and um, I heard the sequel's coming out, and the sequel's coming out, so I gotta watch that one too. And um, this, this, this guy, um, the actor, he's the one like acted in one other film, I think, it might be the first film, he's, he did a really good job, and, and, you know, a really solid job, and I think that, um, you know, he might be, I know he's gonna be in the sequel, but I like to see him in other films and stuff like that, District 9 is a... Uh, about a guy who finds this pepper spray. Actually, I guess he's a, I don't know, 
like he's like a tent or something. He's gonna move all these aliens into another spot because it's like people are getting mad and stuff like that. And he tries to move this one person and he like, um, I don't want to talk too much about it, but, um, he tries to, he takes him out and, you know, um, uh, whatever, and he searches the house because he finds this like pepper spray or something. Pepper spray and he sprays himself with it and becomes an alien. It's, wow, Mr. Klein. Can't really talk much about it. Um, maybe another one. One flew over the cuckoo's nest. Jack Nicholson. Maybe the, without the glare. There it is. Still, still glare. But, um, possibly one of my favorite movies of all time because it's, um, it's set in, um, um, I wouldn't call it, uh, yeah, mental institution. Um, this guy, Jack Nicholson, it's not, well, he's pretending, no, he's not pretending. I mean, yeah, he is pretending. But he just doesn't want to go to jail, and, you know, he's pretending to be a um, mental patient for, I don't know why, to get out of jail, maybe, I don't know. He just want to be there, you know. Um, he just so much, of the cast is brilliant. Brad Dorif, um, what's his name? Dan DeVito, this guy, oh, Christopher Lloyd, Back to the Future, part two. Christopher Lloyd's in this one. He was really good. I think this was one of his first films. Oh, this was great. And the, the big guy in the back, the big guy, more Jack Nicholson. I should have got the, the, the special pack, but this was like $5. Maybe at my local Walmart, but oh my god, this was a great film. One best picture, I think. 70 something or 80 something. And then, yes, the Indiana Jones. Got a little scratch up there. The Indiana Jones uh, special pack. There's four discs. There's Raiders of the Lost Ark, Temple of Doom, Lost Crusade. Actually, it's upside down. There it is. Bonus material is uh, Lost Crusade, Temple of Doom, Raiders of the Lost Ark, and. Yeah. Um, I've yet to have. I, I haven't got to the bonus material yet, uh, surprisingly, but I'm really looking forward to that. Um, this this is a great trilogy. I didn't really care for the second one that much. Chinese Kid was okay. I mean, nothing really special to talk about. Indy. But, oh my god, Harrison Ford, are you kidding me? This has got to be one of the greatest trilogies of all time. You know, I love Sean Connery and the third one. I really laughed or re watched some of these movies. I got a lot to see. Maybe I'll do a review on this box set. The complete DVD collection. This one was like 35 something. You probably get it for eBay for like $20. I don't know. But, you know, I don't want to talk like too much about it. It's going to take like 10 minutes for me to really review Raiders Lost Ark or something like that. Really, really great film. I mean, if, if you haven't watched it, what are you doing? I mean, come on. It's like. This is probably the first movie to introduce you to Steven Spielberg or Harrison Ford. It's just so easy to get. I love uh, Indian Jones. Uh, next one. Um, oh yeah, Step Brothers. Step Brothers. Wow, it's it's hilarious because I mean, oh my God, Will Ferrell. Just show you Step Brothers. Will Ferrell, John C. Riley. Um, they uh, they had um another another one in um. Uh, Talladega Nights, which is another good one. I um, I think I have that on PSP, but it, it doesn't like it doesn't hold a candle. This one, you know. Uh, yeah, so the reason I like this one because they they work so well together. It's so much I like improv is is really really great, and um, I like Adam McKay. Everything that he does with Will Ferrell's gold. So. Um, Anchorman's another one. I think I have that one downstairs, maybe. Anchorman's another one. So, uh, the funniest film, yeah. This is really, really great. I know this line, I know this movie, word for word. Step Brothers, Step Brothers, Step Brothers, yeah. Um, oh, no, no. Not the, not the greatest, greatest comedy of all time, but it definitely, it deserves a spot, like on the top 20 or something. I think I'm gonna cut this, um, you know, cut this video down to like 10 minutes, so <sighs> maybe stop it right there. I just saved time. So, yeah, um, look for part two, maybe. Yeah, I'll do part two. I got a few DVDs left, maybe even part three. Yeah, I gotta get, maybe get some extras, so part one. There you go.